now or never get in and get these node nfts you can't run a node without the nft so you gotta pay to play today we're gonna set up a tempe node this is the synaptron node s-y-n-a-p-t-r-o-n -E the synaptron node adds ai capabilities to the tempe indexing structuring information and images and adding additional layers to one of the biggest data sets in the world synaptron rewards will be distributed based on node performance while node operators will be rewarded for as long as the Tempe network operates. Synaptron nodes have guaranteed minimum reward pool levels for three years until December of 2027. So this went out on this time last month, just about on the 23rd of October, talking about selling the Synaptron node for Tempe. The two tiers are gonna be based on the specs of your rig. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but tier one for the first year, this is the monthly node rewards. 1400 Tempe per month and 1600 per Tempe per month for tiers one and tiers two. On top of that, because it's all going into a pool for those users that are not participating or their rigs are down or whatever, their rewards are gonna get split amongst the rest of the node operators that have their equipment up and running. If you have consistency, you'll get more than what is, is explained or established here. Very cool. And then years two and years three, obviously the node rewards decrease per month. Let's look at what it takes to run one of these nodes. So the minimum requirements for the box itself is gonna be a four core CPU. So I wonder if that's a mistake here. It says 12 gigs of VRAM, but I don't think that's right. I think it's 12 gigs of system RAM is what they're actually saying. Cause right underneath it, it says CUDA, CUDA -ble? Hey, words are hard, okay? CUDA compatible NVIDIA GPUs with a four gig minimum based on yada yada. Good internet connection, usage of multiple GPUs not supported per rig. That's the core components and it's on Windows 10 or Linux, Ubuntu 22 and above. This is the tier one and tier two that they're talking about. So tier one is a four or six gig GPU. So think 1060s, 2060s, 3050s. A tier two is gonna be eight to 16 gig cards. So that's your 1080 Ti's, your 4070's, your 3070's. I don't know if the data center cards like A4000's and stuff are gonna be compatible, but we'll find out. So we're gonna go through and install this Tempe Synaptron node on a dedicated physical host running an RTX 3060. A four core i5 processor. I think I've got 32 gigs of RAM, because why not? As of the time of recording, you've got about six hours left until the sale goes live. So by the time you're watching this, the sale is already live. Now or never get in and get these node NFTs. You can't run a node without the NFT. So you gotta pay to play. And of course, links for all of this is gonna be down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So the first link that's down in the description and in the pinned comment is gonna go to their GitHub repository. From here, you can see the Docker container install guide and the Windows install guide. Like I said, we'll be installing this on a Windows 10 machine, a physical host, not a virtual machine. If you are gonna run Windows in a VM and you have your GPU pass-through set up, I'm pretty sure these installation instructions are gonna be pretty much equivalent in a VM versus a physical box. First things first, when you're setting up your machine, make sure that you've got the latest NVIDIA drivers installed as well. In that same link is the download link for the application for a zip file for Windows and a tar file for Ubuntu or Linux. So we're gonna click on the PDF to look at the instructions and boom, pretty straightforward. I have remoted into the desktop that this is installed on. You go to the link, you download the zip file, unzip it to somewhere on your desktop. It has these two files in it. So let's go into the actual unzipped. You run setup underscore run underscore me. You go through and follow the setup process. It's going to um, install the .NET desktop runtime. Just hit install install, go through the process, and once it's done, you get this little icon on your screen. That's where we're at now. Got this little icon here. I was having issues seeing, this is where I was having issues. So I would double click on this. It would ask me if I wanted to launch it. I'd say yes. This window would pop up and it was blank. So if that happens to you, try plugging in a monitor or maybe a dummy plug and see if you're able to do this if you're remoting into the machine and not working on it directly. And so from here, we need to name our node. 16 character minimum. My, of course, of all trades is only 15 characters. So 
420. We are going to click pre-install and this will install the AI environment. So probably all of the dependencies that are needed for inferencing using your GPU. And it says it'll take one to two minutes. So we click pre-install. We can see stuff installing down here. It's installing Python. Move myself over here. You can take note of the time right down here, 11.54 a.m. when we started this. We'll see how long it takes because I'm not gonna sit here and just watch the things. And here we are. That did take about a minute and a half. You can see the time, it's 11.55. Completed successfully, we'll hit okay. We're gonna come to install Synaptron AI. This is what might actually take a little bit. It says eight to 15 minutes, but at the same time, it says this process could take 15 to 20 minutes and occupies about 20 gigs of hard drive space. So we're gonna hit install and Hurry up and wait. All right, while we're waiting on this to finish, because that's still installing, it's probably gonna take a little while. This node sale is not just going to be the Synaptron nodes. They are releasing 250 Synaptron NFTs. And again, you do need an NFT in order to run a node. They have 120 Guardian nodes coming up for sale and 50 more collector nodes. I actually plan on picking up a couple more collector nodes because I feel the value is there for them. Synaptron nodes and collector nodes do not need a public IP or DDNS, where a Guardian node does. Just keep that in mind. We just finished, it is 12.05. So that took about 10 minutes. Now we need to restart the thing. We would come down to the system tray, right click, exit Synaptron. Because if you just exit this window, it still runs in the background and you get a notice down here that says it. Open your system tray, right click, exit Synaptron. And then that same icon we used earlier, we're gonna double click it and restart it. Boom, that's it. It. Synaptron node is installed. We can see right here the GPU is enabled. Now at this point we can close this window out and it'll run in the background. What we're going to do here is set it up so that we are going to have the Synaptron node automatically restart itself in the case of power failure or system reboot or whatever. So what we're gonna do is come down here and on a normal, like if you're plugged into your machine, you can hit Windows key R to go to your run options. I'm remoting into it. So if I do that here, it's gonna happen on the local machine. So you would just come down here and search run. And that'll be your first option here. See, so we're gonna do shell colon startup. And here's our start menu. We're gonna right click, go to new shortcut. And the shortcut path, file path is in the PDF that's in the link down below. Click next, Synapse agent, hit finish. There we are. So now when the system reboots, it'll automatically bring up this application again. Also, this would be a really good time to go into the BIOS of the machine and make sure that it's set up to restart at power failure. If you're running it in a VM, you can also set that up in the hypervisor level as well. Installation complete. Don't forget guys, there's a very limited time where you can actually buy these NFTs to run these nodes to get that passive income. I love that it's just one of these set it and forget it kind of solutions. And of course, Links are in the description. This is the kind of video that you like watching. Consider subscribing for more like it. And of course, thanks for watching.